If we all had a crackhead mentality, the world would be a better place. <laughs> when I mean a crackhead mentality, I mean that work ethic to get that crack, to get that rock, get that pipe. They work hard to get that. And then they lay back, take that rock, take that hit, and be like, Man, it was all worth it in the end. You feel me? I ain't even trying to be funny, but I'm making sense, and I should be making sense to y'all. Like, I'm just saying, crackheads they do anything for the crack. Just think if we all did anything to to follow our dreams. Just think if we did anything necessary to follow our dreams. We wouldn't. We 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 that. Our dreams is the crack. Our dreams, just just picture our dreams being the crack, and we doing whatever we got to do to get that to get that dream. What's going on? What's going on? Welcome to it's a cold game podcast. I'm your host Scooby, and we back in this thing. We back in this thing once again, making up for last time. So we dropping two episodes this week. You know what I'm talking about? We dropping two episodes this week, so yeah. How everybody mental? What's going on? My mental is probably about a nine or eight this week. Yeah, I can't complain, but I did lose some money last night. I ain't gonna even hold this forex game, boy. It's a cold game. It's a cold game. Well, I lost. I lost some money yesterday, though. I'm not going to even lie to you. I did. I drunk my juice on the last episode, so I got my H2O, so we good in this department. Oh, let me introduce Sharky. So with blood. He back in this thing. He was on a little hiatus because his batteries was kind of low. But yeah, everything is going good. Still juicing, still eating healthy. You know, same old Scooby. So... Let's get into it. I had something to say. I forgot what I was finna say. I be losing my... I gotta start back taking my brain pills because I be losing my train of thought so damn fast. Like, I be thinking something, I'm like, oh, I can talk about that. But then, it just be gone. Like, I really forgot what I was finna say. I really did. I know one thing. I don't know why I downloaded this this beat. I don't like this one. This ain't it. Like, I don't have to I would have to switch that or go to the go to the one I had before. Yeah, I'm gonna just have to do that one because that one that wasn't it. <laughs> that was not it. I don't know what kind of shit I was on. That sounded like some like some techno shit. But yeah, how's everybody doing? Everybody doing good? So let's get into it. But I had something to say. Damn. That shit slipped my mind that fast. Oh, I just said um, Deion Sanders and them, they playing today. They winning. Actually, they should win this game. The score is 20 to 31, Colorado winning. Travis Hunter been balling. He got like three tubs. So yeah, the, the game on. And college football is back. I can start making some more money. Cause you know I'm a betting ass nigga. You know, you got to take risks, and I take a bunch of risks. So yeah, college football is back on this Saturday. So and Colorado, like I said, Colorado playing right now. So y'all might see this later. Yeah, they already won. So let's get into it. But I wanted to say something though. But oh well. Shit, shit happens. So get it off your chest. Get it off your chest for this week. Like, I know one thing. It's best to do shit alone. It's best to do a lot of things alone instead of with a partner. When I mean by do shit alone, I mean like for podcasts, for instance. Like, um, Joe Budden broke up with, I ain't gonna say broke up, that's kind of feminine. He don't do the podcast with Rory and Mal. I think that's what their name was. Rory and Mark or Rory and Mal. 
he don't do that with them more. You know, they uh, they went their separate ways. Um, who else? B. Simone and her, and her best friend, they went their separate ways. Um, Yachty and his friend, his best friend, they went their separate ways. It's like everybody, when you be successful, it's hard. It's hard because people be having, you never know, people be having animosity. You get more publicity. You get more attention. You you probably was the broke friend. Ain't never seen nothing before. And now you're getting all this fame and it's going to your head. I don't know what happened, but it just seemed like it's best to do things alone. Because, like, for, for instance, in my situation, in the podcast, like, when I was doing it with my BM, yeah, it, was, it was cool. But... It just didn't work because she, you know, she in nursing school and I'm want to and I want to do it once a week, but she can't, you know. So I'm like, man, you know, I want to do it every week to be consistent so you can get your name out there. Be consistent. We have almost we I think we had like 30 some episodes, spent a bunch of money on it, spent a bunch of money on, on the podcast, getting all the equipment, doing all that. Sometimes things just don't work out. And sometimes things work out. What is that word? What's that saying? Sometimes things work out for the best. It might be best that I went on my own and did it solo. That way I can upload when I want to. I can upload two episodes when I want to. Like right, like right now, for example. Instead of me uploading one episode that we missed, I can upload two when I want to. You know what I'm saying? I could upload three or four in one week. I could upload as many as I want to in one week because it's just me and I know what I need to do to get it done. So sometimes it might just be best just to do things your own. You don't always need a partner to do something with. You don't always need a friend to do something with. Like start your podcast yourself or start with a not, not just in podcast. That's just an example. Start doing whatever you want to do by yourself. Like we came in this world by ourselves, we're gonna leave by ourselves. So sometimes it's best just to do things by yourself in all aspects of life, on everything. Starting a business, you don't unless you starting a business. If you got the funds to start your own business, don't get a partner. Do it yourself. That way you can run it how you want to run it. You know what I'm saying? So. Sometimes it's just best to do things yourself. You don't have to depend on nobody. You know, you know, you can't depend on people. I know this that you cannot depend on people, but you can always depend on yourself. You can always be you can always depend on yourself because humans will let you down. Your friends will let you down. Your friends will have your back. But you as yourself you will always have your own back in any situation you go through you will always have your own back so yeah that's just i'm just saying so what does that smell i got just turned the stove on but yeah so niggas is still buying plates in 2024 and people is still selling plates in 2024 which is crazy which is crazy i'm telling you like it don't like these plates is getting outrageous now i ain't seen nobody selling a plate in a while but i seen it i think it was a couple days ago and the plate looked horrendous i am not lying to you the plate looked at horrible it looked at like some shit it it just didn't look good and i'm just saying like i remember when COVID was around people were selling the shit out them plates or a little after COVID, people were selling the shit out them plates they were selling freezy ice they were selling alcohol with hella candy in them all type of shit and they was winning for a while i think that uh, they was winning for uh, for a cool minute I even wanted some when I used when I was drinking. I wanted to try the candies, the alcohol with the candy in it. Like it was, it was winning. But now, plates then fell off. They fell all the way off. I ain't gonna even hold you. Like and then it's so bad. Like on DoorDash, they got you can you can actually sell 
you can actually sell plates out your house and have the DoorDash come come to a location and they'll pick it up for you. Like that's how that's how it's getting. Like I seen the YouTube video, the dude was making DiGiorno pizza on DoorDash. He was, but he had it. He had the picture set up like it was the best pizza in the world, and people was actually ordering. But he was making home. He was making frozen pizza. Like you can, you can get some money, but people like, come on, you got to come up with another hustle. And then it's like. Why would you even buy a plate from somebody to keep it 100? What you buying a plate from somebody for? Honestly. Like, for real, though. Like, people is hella nasty. People be having cats on the counter, dogs on the counter, dogs in the kitchen, cats in the kitchen. Like, I'm just saying, like, I'd be damned if I buy um if y'all hear the, the um that loud ass car still in the hood. But it's crazy. Like, why would you want to buy somebody plate knowing that they ain't in a restaurant? Even though a restaurant is nasty too. But I'm just saying, people is not clean. People is not clean. People houses is not clean. People, I'm pretty sure, like DoorDash. Nigga, DoorDash is hella now. It was just a video on DoorDash. The nigga was sitting there eating his wing stop. The nigga is sitting there eating his wing stop and he was finna give it to him. But he caught dude. He caught dude eating his wing stop, eating his fries. And you know, if you ever order from Wing Stop before, you know that little tape they put on the back, it don't never stay, it don't never stay there. The reason why I don't never stay there is because the moisture from the chicken and the fries is hot. So I don't know how science works, but the moisture loosens up the bag. It loosens up the tape on the bag, and then the, voila, magic. So I like I know like if you order them from DoorDash, just know they put they putting they putting the booger in it. They opening your shit and putting the booger in it. If you're not tipping, they licking your they they licking your burger. They they drinking your juice. They drinking your milkshake, even though the milkshake might be they might add it might. Might have some tape on it, but it's ways around everything. <laughs> it's ways around everything. Just know somebody then stuck a stuck, stuck their hand in your fries, like for real. And I'm the type of person I'm so picky. Like I do not like people. Like if somebody, my son asked for some chips. Open your hand. Like don't dig in my bag. Do not dig in my bag. That shit weird. Like you digging in my bag. Like that shit crazy. Like open your hand or get a napkin or get a plate, get a saucer. Like so, y'all, y'all, y'all be safe out there eating that shit. Y'all be safe out there. So. Anyways, good women reciprocate the energy. What I mean by that, good women do for you, do for you, do for a woman what they do for you. Oh, let me see how I got this shit wrote. Good woman reciprocate the energy. I do for you, you do. Yeah, I do for you, you do for me. That's the signs of a good woman. You don't want no woman that's always taken. That's always take, 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 take. A good woman, it take and then give. You give and you take. Oh, I bought you. Oh, baby, I didn't want. I want to spend some money on you. I bought you a new chain or something. Oh, okay. Damn, she did that for me. Shit, let me go. Let me go outside and do, let me do something nice for her. Let me go. Let me go out and do something nice for her. Since she, you know, since she did that for me, she didn't have to, but she did. You know what I'm saying? Like oh I bought I got her uh, she got me food she got me lunch she she didn't cook let me go let me go make her something to eat or go or go spend some money on her or go get go to her favorite restaurant and pick up what she like she she treat me good let me reciprocate the energy that she just that she just gave to me a lot of women don't do that a lot of women out here taking 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 
and getting what they can get out of you. So you got to watch out for that. Like, if you got a woman, if you've been with a woman for a while and she ain't reciprocating it, I can't even say the damn word. If she ain't reciprocating the energy or he ain't reciprocating the injury, I say injury. <laughs> but if he ain't uh, reciprocating the energy, and man, it's time to it's time to move on, man. It's time to move on. Like I can't stand no broke bitch. I'm not gonna hold you. That is my pet peeve. Like I know I like nice things, and I want my woman to have nice things. I don't not I don't mind buying nice things. But if I'm buying shit and I ain't seeing the and I ain't reciprocating the energy. Man, we gonna have to throw up the deuces like Chris Brown, for real, like, like for real. So get you a woman that's reciprocating the energy. Like it might be that little ugly. I was gonna say the B word. It might be the little ugly female that you don't even like. That's all you feel me. It might be her. It might be the one that that you talk to every day but don't want to be in a relationship with. It might be her, but you know that she be doing for you. And that she doing what the other one ain't doing. So get you a woman that's reciprocating the energy. I'm telling you, that shit goes a long way. Reciprocating the energy goes a long way. Maybe, maybe she might, maybe she like, hey, don't this look clean? She might see some shoes or she might see some on Amazon or something like that. And she be like, hey, ain't this clean? And you just get it from out the blue. That shit goes a long way. Like it'll go a long way for me if I'm just looking at something like I'm debating on buying it to see if I want it or not. And then five days later, you got it. You be like, yeah, baby, I just wanted to um, I just wanted to buy this for you. Like that shit go a long way with me. Like a lot of women ain't women. A lot of women didn't get raised. They didn't have a dad or a father figure in their life to see them type of things. So a lot of women don't know how to be a wife and a lot of women don't even know how to be a good girlfriend to keep it 100 a lot of women is thugs <laughs> straight up a lot of women is thugs nowadays man i ain't gonna lie like i said man bring femininity back bring feminism back like for real man women y'all gotta start being more feminine like what y'all doing fucking a NBA young boy shit that shit crazy like I don't know and then I noticed something like all the good women is on pen pals inmate match or some shit like that a lot of good women be on pen pals or inmate match.com maybe you gotta tell a bitch that you in jail you serving five to ten to get a good to get a good woman because them bitches be loyal i'll be watching um what's what's that show i like lock up nah what's that show love after lock up i'll be watching that shit and them bitches be loyal boy them bitches a jump through a, a jump through hoops and loops to get that nigga home boy the women, I don't know why the niggas that's are not in jail don't get the same reciprocation from that shit. Like we outside and we ain't getting no love like them niggas in jail. <laughs> hey, but it's crazy. Why do women treat niggas in jail better than they treat niggas that's outside? Like why do women treat niggas in jail better than niggas that's at home on the couch? Like that shit crazy. That shit, that shit is ass backwards. Like that's a mental illness that you would treat a nigga in jail better than you would treat a nigga that's at home. Like you talking to the nigga in jail every day. You don't even talk to the nigga that you fucking every day that's outside going to work. You want a nigga that's in that's in that's you want a nigga that's in jail washing dishes for ten cent an hour. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. It's just ass backwards. But I can say the same thing for um for 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 niggas too. They doing the same thing. They, I mean, this shit go both ways. The niggas getting hustled on there too. Like this nigga pulled fifty bands out his four hundred one k for his pen pal. He was a simp though, but 
I'm just saying, man. Shit be wild. Tell a bitch that you serving five to ten, and and you in the pen, nigga. She gonna do it, whatever. It was one female that didn't fuck nobody for five years since her since her since the nigga was in jail. She ain't fucked the nigga since Pac died. Waiting for the nigga. <laughs> Like I'm telling you, bro, this shit crazy. Essex, I a I think that's how A S I C S A A six. Them is wrestling shoes. If y'all didn't know, them was them is and still are wrestling shoes. Who made them cool? Who made A six cool? However you say A six Essex. Who made them cool? Them them mother. Them shoes is hideous. Like, like I told y'all before in, in other episodes, if everybody else going right, I'm going left. If everybody going down, I'm going up. If everybody going diagonal, diagonal, I'm going whatever is the opposite of that. Like, A6 is not it. So you want to be a wrestler, huh? <laughs> so you want to be a wrestler. Why is people wearing Asics? Them is wrestling shoes. Now, probably not all of them, but who's the, who Who made them cool? Like, I just don't understand. Like, stop following the trend and be your own man. Be your own, be your own self. Stop following the trend. Like, that shit crazy. Like, when Tiger start coming, start wearing, start wearing L.A. gears. People start wearing LA gears like that's crazy. Man, be yourself. Be your own man. You don't have to wear what everybody else wearing. And that goes into my point next week that I'm gonna talk about. My point next week, YOLO, you only live once. But I'm 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 on pause on that one. I'm not gonna talk about that one. But A6 is ugly as hell. Like y'all tripping? Like I don't know. That shit weird. Last point, man. Why when a when a woman shit? Why they always say, "Oh my shit don't stink, nigga." It's shit. It do stink. All shit stink. I can't stand that. Like, oh my shit don't stink. Well, what your shit smell like? Peaches and cream, nigga. All shit stank. Like, and if, if y'all think I'm wrong, let me know. Like, you it's shit. Nigga, put that shit, put that shit on your face or on your hands. That shit gon' stank. Like, women always say they shit don't stank, nigga. Well, shit stank. I'm talking about shit. Like the shit that you go to the bathroom. Shit stank. But women always say, my, my shit don't be stanking. Like, nigga, yes it do. You ain't you ain't yes it do, bro. Your shit stank. So the topic for today is the topic for today is you got to put in the work to get what you want. You have to put in the work to get what you want. You have to. You can't just be somebody on a log thinking that something is going to drop in your lap. Money just going to drop in your lap. A business just going to drop in your lap. The world doesn't work like that. It don't, but it don't like you begging for money. You begging, you begging your partner for money. You don't want to get a job. You don't want to go to school. You don't want to do shit. All you do, you want to sit at home and play video games in your mama basement all day and eat pizza and play and drink Mountain Dew. But you want to be this big YouTube star. You want to be this big Twitch star. You want to do you want to do this. You want to you want to um you want to just you you want to just okay, you want to be a um I don't know, but you got to put in the work. You can't just sit there and expect 
things to fall in your lap. It don't work like that. I remember I had a partner, right? She wanted to be, what did she want? She wanted to be everything. When I say everything, she wanted to do everything. She wanted to write books. She wanted to, um, she wanted to travel the world. She wanted to buy businesses. She wanted to have her own money. She wanted to be a social media star. All this shit. I said, I said, hey, bud, what you doing to get that though? She like, uh, I don't want to work. I don't want to work for nobody. I don't. I don't never want to work for nobody. So I'm like, so how do you expect? How do you expect to get what you want if you don't want to work? How is you gonna fund? How is you gonna fund? Okay, building a business, being on social media. How is you gonna fund getting a camera? How is you gonna fund all this? Getting a computer, getting all this. You need all this to do all the things I said to be a social media star. You need a camera to 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 film yourself. You need a computer to write your book. How was you gonna do all this? Uh, what she say? She was like, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to figure it out. But I know one thing. I don't want to work for nobody. I said, blood. How was so what? So I'm trying to I'm trying to t- tell her like. How is you going to get all this and you don't want to work? I'm like, money is not going to just fall in your lap and be like, here, 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 go, go do this. It don't work like that. But she and then what she said, she said, God got me. I said, oh, my goodness, you, you so lost. I'm like, you is so lost. It's like, OK. God got you. Yes, he got all of us that believe in him. Yeah, God got you. God got me too. But I'm giving God something to work with. I'm giving God something to work with. If I got to go get a job, I got a job. Okay, that's my first stepping stone. I got a job. Now I can get the funds from my job and go fund my podcast. I'm just giving myself an example. Now, this, this is what I was telling her. I'm like, okay, I got my podcast. Okay, I got a job. Now I can go. I can fund my podcast. I can go buy me a camera. I can get me a MacBook. I can get me a new phone. I can pay people on Fiverr to make to make thumbnails. I can pay a person on um, on Fiverr to make me um what what else do I be doing to make me a video? I can pay them to do that. But if I didn't have this job. I wouldn't be able to pay him nothing. How else would I do? What I'm gonna do? Ask my parents. Mama, mama, can I get a hundred dollars? Can I get a thousand dollars? I'm trying to fund my career. I'm trying to be a big. Uh, I'm trying to be a big podcaster. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to be on YouTube. I'm trying to do this too to do that. No, it don't work like that. You, you can't ask your parents for everything. You can't, especially if you're 18, 19, 20. You gonna have to. You gonna have to get get it how you live. We, we ain't rich. We from the ghetto. I am from Oakland, California. Nigga, we didn't 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 nothing drop on my lap and be like, here, blood, go ahead and do what you got to do. Nah, we working hustle for this. Like right now, I'm doing podcasting. Even though I ain't getting no money from it, this, is what I like doing. And eventually, if I keep doing it, something gonna have to give. Somebody gonna hear this shit. So I'm podcasting. That's a hustle. I'm working my job. That's a hustle. I'm doing a forex. That's a hustle. Like you gotta have, you gotta have it's in selling cars. That's a hustle. So been then and get then creating another YouTube channel. That's a hustle. My son on YouTube. That's a hustle. We finna start a cartoon. That's a hustle. We already got the LLC for the clothing line. That's a hustle. We got multiple LLCs. That's a hustle. Like, that's what I'm saying. So I got, what's that? I just named, what, about eight things. I only can do a couple. So right now I'm focusing on podcasts, Forex, the clothing line, and the cartoon. That's four things. I don't got time. Like, And I want to not have time because I know for a fact that in the long run, that's going to that's gonna do my son well. Fuck, fuck, fuck what I got going on. Fuck me. 
but in the future he 11 in the future he gonna be set up okay we do this clothing line uh, what is it called cold gang clothing then we got he got here cf kids okay we get that up and running we just you know we get that up and running that's two that's two hustles got the llc for it like you gotta you, like I, I don't have time like i like for instance i got mad I went and bought Madden when it came out. I think it came out, if I'm not mistaken, it came out. The, it had to come out on the 16th, I remember. Madden came out the 16th. It's the, what's, what's today? Today the 29th. I just opened Madden today. I just opened it today before I went to the gym. I just opened it today before I went to the gym. Like, uh, I'm, 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 uh, I'm going to pop this in because, you know, it takes like a couple hours for the game to download on the PS5. So I'm like, I'm going to pop this in by the time I come from the gym, go get my um, my fruit and my fruit and vegetables for the um, for the um, juicer. It'll be done by the time I get done. It's it's 830. I still ain't played the PS5. I don't have time. Even though I want to, I want to, I want to learn. Well, I know how to play. I've been playing that shit since I was young. I know how to play, but I don't like to lose. Like, <laughs> I'm that type of nigga. I don't like to lose. Like, I remember back in the day, I was playing my uh, my uncle, my uncle Baby James. I was playing him in Madden. He was whooping my ass in Madden. And I don't like losing. I was crying. He was whooping my ass, talking shit. And I was crying. He was like, nigga, what you crying for? It's just a game. But I'll say that to say this. I don't like to lose. So when I start losing, I'm turning that shit off. <laughs> That's how I think it. That's how I am. I turn that shit off. You feel me? I, I'm telling you, I'm losing. But when I'm playing the computer, I don't turn that shit off because I'm trying to get better. Yes, sir. But, but I used to, every time I'd be playing in the season, back in the day when I was younger, I'd be playing the season and I, you know, I have it on hard mode. Pause. 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 I know, but I used to have it on hard. Pause. But I didn't know that when you lose, you get better. I'm trying to go. How many games in the NBA season? I'm trying to go 82 and 0 in poop. I'm trying to go 16 and 0 in football. Like, but now I know. Like, you know, as you get older, you start learning. Like, you don't have to. You don't have to lose. You don't have to win every time. You're getting better every time you lose. Like trading on Forex, I lost some money yesterday. It's my prop firm, but I lost some money. Nigga, I lost. I lost loss. But I but every time I uh every time I lose, I get better and I talk to my dad like the next day. And I tell him I tell him what happened. And he was like, Oh, you just gotta do your risk or man, not risk management, not that I already know the risk management. But you gotta start looking backtracking, looking at the hour, looking at the four hour candles, and then go place your trade on there. He was like, you just got to find your edge to know to, to you just got to find your edge. If you know Forex, you know, you just got to find your edge. So I didn't find found my edge yet, but some mistakes I keep making, like when you're going against the trend, I ain't going to get into Forex. I can talk about that shit forever. Like you want to go with the trend, not against the trend. So when I go with the trend, I win. But when I go against the trend, I lose. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I, I just opened, I opened Matt and I, I got it on the 16th. Today is the, um, the 29th. Like I ain't had time to, but I'd rather not have time. I'd rather not have time to work on things that I know can make me successful and make me a lot of money. And then if I know I'm doing this and God see that I'm doing this and putting in the work, I'm putting the work with the podcast, I'm putting the work with the clothing line, I'm putting in the work on YouTube. I'm putting I'm putting in the work doing all this with Forex. I'm doing all this. So he might just bless me. That's how I'm thinking in my head. But I'm not depending on him to bless me. I'm putting in my own work. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting in my own work. You gotta put it in the work to get somewhere. You got to. Ain't this shit is not gonna come with you just sitting there or what you just laying there with you in your mama basement. This shit is not going to drop to you on your lap. Okay, you might believe in God. You might know that he's real. But if you're not giving something God, if you're not giving him nothing to play with 
or nothing or you're not doing nothing he not gonna bless you you can go to church until you're blue in the face but if you're not putting in the work or giving him something to work with i said play with i mean to, if you're not giving him something to work with man you just gonna you just gonna be lonely you're gonna be broke lonely and then you're gonna be like man this how i go you'd be like man i should have did this i should have did that i wish i would have did this you don't want to be a wish i could have i wish i i wish i could have been ass nigga you do not want to be a wish i, I should have did this ass nigga you know how them old ass drug dealers you know one of your uncle or your cousin or somebody man we had bands we had millions of dollars we was flying in money we had we used to do that y'all doing that now we used to do that 10 times 10 times we used to have 20 girlfriends we used to have all these diamonds and jewelry we had two thousands of dollars man where that shit at now <coughs> i need some water i've been talking too much where that shit at now uh i don't know i went to jail uh, exactly you was putting in work somewhere else. You feel me? You you wish you would have got out early. You wish you would have did that. You should have did that. You should have made investments. You should have did this. You don't want to be a should a should have did this ass nigga. That's how the old ass drug dealers do. They go, they lose everything, man. And be stressing, not stressing, but they'd be like, I should have did this. You don't never want to be a should I should have did this ass nigga. Go for it. Go get you a job. And, and go get your job and so and have that job support whatever you got going on. You don't want to be you don't you don't want to be that. You don't want to be that person or that woman. You don't. So back to what I was telling her, I'm like. I'm like you can't you don't want to you don't want to be like that i'm like you gotta have something to support you got like like a like just like a crackhead need crack you gotta they need that money they drop they gotta they get that money to get that crack by any means necessary a crackhead gonna get crack by any means necessary if they gotta sell their fucking kids they gonna sell them kids to get that crack get that rock straight up Man, just think if everybody had a crackhead mentality, a world would be a better place. <laughs> hey, man, I be cracking myself up with this shit. But, man, y'all know what I mean. If we all had a crackhead mentality, the world would be a better place. <laughs> when I mean a crackhead mentality, I mean that work ethic to get that crack, to get that rock. Get that pipe. They work hard to get that. And then they lay back, take that rock, take that hit, and be like, man, it was all worth it in the end. You feel me? I ain't even trying to be funny. But I'm making sense. And I should be making sense to y'all. Like, I'm just saying, crackheads, they do anything for the crack. Just think if we all did anything to, to follow our dreams. Just think if we did anything necessary to follow our dreams. We wouldn't, we, 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 that our dreams is the crack. Our dreams, just, just picture our dreams being the crack and we doing whatever we got to do to get that, to get that dream. That's what I mean by that. But yeah, man. We gotta do. We gotta. You gotta have something for God to help you out with. You got. You gotta be doing something. You got to, man. You gotta be doing something. You don't want to be doing nothing. Like a teenager. Like I mean, teen. Like 19, 20, 20 If you're not in college, uh, let me not. Let me not say that college. Fuck. Fuck school. Fuck. For, to me, it's too many. Th- fuck school there's courses out here that help you get you don't have to go to school you can get rich off youtube you can get rich off social media you don't always have to go to school but i'm just saying just 
man like for real though you don't have to go to school but you just got to put in the work to do something man but let me finish my story about my partner so now she got a job she funding whatever she got to do to do what she want now so that's what i mean she she got a job because i told her i'm like you can't you can't live like that forever she stayed with her mama i'm like you you can't you can't live like that forever so she got a job now and she funding she doing her thing well she working she doing what she got to do now but that just goes for anybody you know what i'm saying have that job to to support your habit like a crackhead have that job to support your habit if your habit is electronics if your habit if your habit is i want to be in cybersecurity, man go get that course buy that course now you got a job buy that course get what you want you want to make candles you want to make paintings now you got the job to support now you ain't got to ask nobody you ain't got to ask nobody shit and what if you get successful making candles making art making youtube what if you get successful being behind the camera recording people recording yourself recording your podcast what if you start getting good and start getting thousands of followers now god is gonna bless you because you you helping him put in the work to get to where you want to get to so man i ain't gonna keep going on and on and yapping but man putting the work it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna happen for you you gotta put in the work to get what you want you gotta put in the work to get what you want so podcast oh i'm gonna read memes of the week snitching at work is crazy you wasn't even paid extra for that man ain't that the damn truth that's the damn truth snitching at work is crazy you wasn't even paid extra for that i can go on and on about that but i'm not y'all get it new hires new hires be happy as fuck you about to see why we was hiring (laughs) yeah that's true new hires be happy as fuck but you about to see why we was hiring that's crazy i just be accepting cookies i don't even know what that means hey i don't even know what cookies mean on the phone either you know how when you go to an app or go to something on the internet it say accept cookies or your phone won't work i remember i kept playing with it because i didn't want to accept no cookies but my the internet wouldn't work then i accept the cookies that's how i knew you gotta accept cookies for it to work so i feel that if you make me mad and we in the car just know the next song is about you man that's that's so damn true i got a playlist i got a playlist for when when a, when a, when a female make me mad i swear I got one song. What's that song called by Plaza? Your mama um, should have dropped you on your head, ho. <laughs> like when a bitch say something stupid to me and I, I ride with her, I, you get that look. Like then I play that song. It, it, it ain't That ain't the name of the song, but the verse is, your mama should have dropped you on your head, ho. So I, I swear I do. I got, a, I got a song for every mood. If I ain't feeling you, What's my song? I, I I do got a song for every mood though. Like, like if a bitch did something to me, made me mad. That's why I shouldn't trust no bitch. These hoes ain't him. I love for no bitch. Like too short, too short to eat forty. So I I forgot the song, but yeah, I got a song. I got a song for every mood I'm feeling. So I feel that one. I'm gonna read it again. If you make me mad and we in the car, just know the next song is about you. Man. Like or 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 could be you feel me you could be a female when a nigga made you mad. Like I should have cheated. Like Keisha Cole, I should have cheated. No matter how you do I don't know. I don't be knowing the lyrics. I gotta hear it and I know. I should have I might as well have cheated on you. So yeah, I gotta move for every song. You feel me? But that's the end you feel me my name's scooby this a cold game it's a cold game podcast follow me on youtube spotify 
it's everywhere everywhere a podcast is. it's a cold game podcast instagram and i'm trying to start a community 925-501-8650 that's 925-501-8650 let me know if you want to hate or do whatever no so hit me i'm out deuce